Hello everybody. I hope all of you are doing fine in this extreme heat conditions that are already prevailing. And today we are going to talk about a hot topic which everybody does not want to talk about. All of us or some of us go through it, but we would rather not talk about it. Uh, in fact, one out of five people suffer from this. Hi, this is Rashmita. You are in my channel Evolve Hashtag 21. And today I am going to talk about depression and how you can fight it if you have detected it. World Health Organization says that one out of five people in India is from depression. But unfortunately, it also goes on to say that this problem is not addressed properly in India. So what basically is depression? Depression is, it, it could be mild, it could be uh, tough, it could be a very bad bout of depression. All of us go through it but we somehow do not want to talk about it. But because some uh, celebrities all across the world have come out in the open and they are talking about mental health right now, my dear friend does not mean that you are suicidal. Depression means that you could be, you suddenly get anxious about things. You are constantly in a very low mood. You don't feel like doing anything. Don't like, feel like talking to anybody or you start snapping at people all of a sudden. Now, how do I know it? Yes, I have had my share of depression. And the points that I'm going to talk about, I have done them myself as suggested by a psychologist. And uh, I have been able to come out of it. Antidepressants are always not the solution because sometimes you can get addicted to them or uh, they have rather a lot of side effects. You Google side effects of antidepressants and you'll see a huge lot of them. And for the women out there, yes, it includes weight gain. So try and try these other methods that, that have been suggested by psychologists, psychiatrists, and I have tried them on myself I have suggested things to a lot of other friends and people, they have benefited it and I'm sure you all are also going to benefit from it. When you are going through a bout of depression, you are really not in a mood to do anything. But if you are a professional, if you have work to do, you will go about doing it anyway but you will not be putting in your 100% to it. So how do you manage to first understand whether there is a depression or not? The first point that I would like to talk about is you have to identify what is it that is causing the depression. It is like you're traveling on a road, 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 and then somehow you fall. So you have to get up and understand what was it that made you trip and fall. So what I was asked to do and what I would recommend you to do, it will take some time because I, I couldn't get it the first time. Maybe you can get it the first time, but it will take some time. So think about, try and close your mind and do it when you're all by yourself, right? Try and close your mind for about five to 10 minutes. Let your mind go completely blank and then try and see the picture that pops up in your mind. So when I was doing this, uh, I thought that uh, members of my family, pictures of members of my family would pop up in front of me. But unfortunately it was a colleague's uh, image that pops up in your head screen yeah so uh, that is your obstacle now that you have identified your obstacle you have to understand how do I deal with that person so if it's somebody from your past you are blessed because you can just forget about that person and move ahead it is much easier 
but if it is somebody who is still there in your present life and you have to deal with that person or that uh, situation on a daily basis then this could be a little difficult once you've identified your problem and once you've identified the obstacle that is there and causing your depression you have to work on it and that is how you can get over depression that is what was suggested to me and that is what i did and that is how with the other things that i'm going to discuss and share with you today i got out of my depressive phases yes i had i think two or three of them okay number 1 connect with your elements we all know that there are the five elements it is and the moment you start connecting with your elements you feel your mind your brain feels a lot more calm and that is when you can take control of your situation otherwise even after identifying your situation you will not be able to do anything about it 72% of our body is made of water and it is one of the key elements so what about water so people who go into depression they like to not take care, take a bath every day yes then that is a fact uh, i also did it yeah uh, a proper bath a bath with soap and water and if you are in humid conditions like we are a real scrub bath so take a daily bath that is very very important because it cleanses once you put water on yourself it cleanses not only the dirt from outside but it has it gives you a feeling of cleansing and when you feel cleansed you feel good about yourself and you feel that okay i can give it a good start another thing is try drinking a lot more water to the more amount of water that goes in the the hormones that are playing havoc in your system they get calm so yes connect with your first element that is water next is earth we are born from there and we go back there right so how do you connect with earth so if you are in one of the mega cities of india or otherwise uh, and if you don't have access to a park or anything then try walking barefoot at home but if you do have an access to a park or some place which has earth on it mud on it grass on it try walking barefoot no matter how small or big your flat apartment bungalow whatever it is that you are in try doing a little gardening when you work with uh, that mud and you work uh, with earth and you plant seeds and you see a sapling come out of it it automatically gives you a lot of pleasure uh you remember how children uh, walk barefoot and on puddles they uh, jump on them and how happy they feel yes that is because they're connecting to the element earth so the next thing is your element of fire now what do we mean by fire i think many of us are uh, aware of the fact that if the sun is not out for a number of days or people who do not live in the tropical countries are r- tend to be rather more depressive than us so yes the sun is very important so what i'm trying to say is try and soak in some sun every day yeah don't forget uh, that you can get a tan but i think your mental health is more important and if you're so worried about it how about not trying getting up a little early in the morning and soaking up that early morning sun so that you have enough uh, amount of fresh energy within yourself also uh, sitting in front of a fire not in this warm conditions but if you are from a colder country sitting under uh, sitting in front of the fire or something simple like sitting in front of a candle 
can do a lot of good to your mental health. Like you can light a candle and uh, sit, up, so sit about three or four feet away from it and keep looking at the candle. Just thoughts will come, thoughts will go away. You will feel like going out. If you want to stop it there, you can, but you will get used to it. And that um, the concentration that comes from there, it helps you a lot to fight with the obstacle that you have identified in your life. We'll talk about the next element that is air. That is what we breathe in and breathe out. Yes, there's a lot of pollution out there, but try and do some breathing exercises a little bit. Maybe you start with five, 10 minutes every day, even a deep breath, so sit in one place and concentrate on your breathing. Just breathe in, breathe out, in, and out it's not very difficult even I couldn't sit in one place when I was going through this phase and I had extreme amounts of problem trying to under I sit in one place and do this breathing pro problem I mean Kapal Bharti, Anulom Vilom that comes so much later but just sitting in one place and concentrating on your breathing is a challenge initially but trust me my dear friends you will be able to overcome it so just sit in one place try it for five minutes set a timer in our watch and start breathing in and breathing out and concentrate on your breathing in and breathing out and then maybe you can go ahead and do your Kapal Bharti, Anulom Vilom etc later but let's make a start right now. Last but not the least, space that is our fifth element. How do we connect to space? A very good way of connect to, connecting to space is music and when I talk about music I'm not talking about rock music or hard music or anything but it doesn't mean that you cannot listen to them sometimes for some people it is hard rock that uh, kind of uh, makes things for them uh, so it is completely up to you but what was suggested to me and what I have heard from many a people that is listening to instrumental music calm music calms your calms your mind down and you start feeling better so listening to music uh, just by yourself probably on a headphone will give you that peace of mind yeah so these were our five elements that we should connect with so my next point is start your day with a positive note I know when you're going through this phase you hardly can get out of bed you don't feel like getting out of bed and when you feel that you should that alarm should ring in you and you should be like okay so something's not right and uh, so this is one of the things that people who go through depression, they, ha ha they have their spot, you know, and they don't want to get out of there. That is their safe zone. They create a safe zone for themselves. You know, our brain wants to be safe, to protect. The job of the brain is to protect the body. So that is the safe zone that the mind creates from them and tells the body that if you are in this particular corner of your house, you will be safe. And when you see yourself sticking to that particular area, please give yourself a nudge and think, why is this happening to me? Okay. So start your day with a positive note. See that everything's going to be fine today. Yeah. Give yourself positive affirmations. Now, how do we do that? So again, I will come back to do small activities, very small. If you don't want to do your bed, don't do it. Uh, just put something right. I mean, just put something straight. I mean, if uh, the cushions on your uh, uh, on your sofa are not uh, pro uh, kept properly, just go and just do them, you know. Or if uh, clothes are hanging in the clothes line, just take them down. I'm not asking you to do the entire thing. But just small things, small, very small things. If uh, Or just fill a jug of water or fill a bottle of water for yourself. These small affirmations, the brain 
understands that you are going through a good phase because even these small things are a good intimation for your brain that things are right and it starts producing the good hormones within us and that is what helps us come out of depression another very important thing is for people who are going through depression they sleep at all times so the sleep pattern basically goes haywire just try and just get into bed on time every day so if it's like 10 o'clock stick to 10 o'clock 11 o'clock stick to 11 o'clock just tell yourself it's 11 o'clock it's bedtime and i should hit my pillow and try doing this every day you will automatically your body system will know that i am following a routine and when the body knows that i am following a routine it means that i am doing good and this routine i am getting benefited from this routine and that is when the good hormones start flowing next point stay away from negative thoughts so basically what i'm trying to tell you is stay away from social media for some days if you are in depression i would suggest stay away from the news stay away from newspaper because there's so many bad things that you keep seeing uh, or reading or hearing uh, even if somebody says something bad on in all probability you are likely to retaliate uh, and it is not your fault but try abstaining from it or i mean if and if you uh, stay away from negative things if you stop hearing negative things if you stop hearing probably you will not be so updated about people but uh, or your surroundings but it is going to have a good effect you are again that brain will think that everything is fine it does not need to protect you so again it's going to produce the happy hormones next point just remember this is a phase before you got into depression you were doing very well and after this phase is over everything is going to be fine so just remember it is just a phase it is temporary in nature and you are going to come out of it just fine so just tell yourself this it is just a bad phase that i'm going through and i am going to come out of it probably a stronger person so remember this my friends it's just a phase if not today if not tomorrow in some days time you will be out of it for some people it will be more difficult than others but it will not be like you will be in depression forever you f it feels like it's never ending trust me i know it because i have gone through it but um uh, it doesn't stay it goes away it wears away and especially when i started connecting with my elements i started keeping away from negative things i i i all i was doing a little bit of uh self care for myself setting up small goals uh started doing my bed um even people said that i was suffering from ocd i had to hear that you know but all that i was doing is trying to tell myself that everything was in place things are good around me and that is how i could help myself and i'm sure you will be able to help yourself but i would like to put a word of caution here if you cannot deal with it there are many people out there who are ready to help please do seek help don't keep it within yourself if you think you cannot help yourself even the doctors are going to tell you that you are the person who is going to help yourself but if you cannot do it on your own please it is my humble request that please do go to a psychologist or a psychiatrist it is not a taboo to consult a psychologist or a psychiatrist they can help you in the right manner and they will help you in the right manner if you don't want to go into antidepressant don't think that every time you will walk into a psychiatrist chamber he or she is going to give you an antidepressant no they are not there are other ways there are much better ways there are so many helplines you can just call up and talk to them 
even talking about your depression you know it helps so if you cannot combat it yourself please it is a humble request from my end do seek help if not anybody try talking your to your friend try talking to your relatives probably they will not understand what you are going through nobody understands what the other person is going through even a person who has gone through the phase will not understand what you are going through right now because your obstacle was not my obstacle uh, and i did not have to overcome that and every obstacle is very individualistic in nature and it has to be dealt with in a very individual manner so please do seek help do not shy away from seeking help that is a humble request i would request my uh, viewers to put in some comments about if they have helped people uh, fight depression or if they know other uh, ways of fighting depression and how we should be going about it because a lot of us out there are fighting depression not talking about it uh, fighting the battle just by yourself and it is difficult so i hope that uh, some good comments from our viewers come our way and we will be having a healthier mental health please do take care of yourself have a wonderful day bye bye